All right, y'all. Y'all ready for another comedian? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got some minutes over there. You say, yeah? Y'all over here ready for another comedian? Yeah. Yeah, yeah all right, all right, all right, all right. This guy, you know what I'm saying, he from, the, he from New Orleans. He been here every week fucking with us. You know what I'm saying? This is one of my favorite people. Y'all put your hands together, give me some energy, and make some noise for Big Red. Some New Orleans rap for my New Orleans peeps. How many of my New Orleans peeps I got out there? I know most of y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where from? Seventh Ward Soldier. See, look, you know, I know. I, I, lived, I lived in the parish right there by the nine. Mm hmm. All right, so uh, let me start this out. We're going to. Uh, Earlier this week, we the, the comedy world lost lost somebody, so we're gonna get a little moment of silence for uh, for Pee Wee. You know, Pee Wee died earlier this week. Let's get that little moment of silence for Pee Wee. All right, now that we had a moment of silence for my dick, how about a moment of silence for Paul Rubin? <laughs> Pee Wee Herman died. I can't believe that shit. That man was fucking seventy years old, died of cancer. Nobody knew he had cancer because he didn't say nothing. Speaking of cancer, let me, let's address the uh, elephant in the room, this big old white patch on my face here. Uh, it started off about a month and a half, two months ago, went to the dermatologist to get some skin tags cut off my eyes. Because let's face it, men don't go to the dermatologist unless there's something they can't cut off themselves or can't pop it themselves. So I go to the dermatologist, I'm not gonna fuck around with shit on my eyes. The uh, dermatologist cut it off, but she said, you ain't been here in about 15 years, so we're gonna have to do a full body scan. Go ahead and put on this uh, this gown, lay face first, and I'm coming back in, and I'm gonna check you from head to toe. So, first of all, it's not a gown, it's a backwards robe, my ass is hanging out, I'm laying on this table, got the cool breeze going on my ass, and well, she comes in, she starts checking me from head to toe, she gets down to my butt crack, she spreads my ass, I'm like, lady, what the fuck are you doing? She said, well, you got skin in there, I need to check it. I was like, no, what you need to do is reevaluate your life choices. You done went to school for 13 years, four years of college, four years of medical school, two years of residency, just to look in my ass. I could have saved you a lot of money and you could have just looked for free. So she keeps on going, she flips me over, she says, okay, I see the two skin tags, and Big Red, you got a cyst on your, on your cheek, and you got a cyst on your elbow, but I can't remove those in the office. They're gonna require stitches. It's too big to remove in here. So you gotta go to the surgical dermatologist. But while we're here, we can take care of that little bump in your groin area. I said, lady, that's not a bump, that's my dick. <laughs> and we're not cutting that off. So anyway, a month later, I go to the surgical dermatologist. She says, let me look at it with this, uh, this loop and this special lighting. And she says, well, Big Red, the dermatologist uh, misdiagnosed you. I hate to tell you, but you got that nasty C word growing on your face and your elbow. I'm like, the nasty C word? She's like, yeah, you got the nasty C word. I'm like, so you telling me I got a cunt growing on my face and my elbow? And she says, no, you dumbass, it's not a cunt, it's cancer. And it's two different types of cancers. I'm like, great, two different types of cancers. So when you find out that you have cancer, you, you start thinking, where in the hell did I get this from? So I started thinking back and reflecting on my life, and I was like, two different kind of cancers? Maybe I shouldn't have given all those free mustache rods to them nasty boys in high school, hence the vaginal cancer on my face. And one time when I went to Tijuana for spring break, after the donkey show, the lady let, let us fist her elbow deep, hence the uterine cancer on my elbow. 
So anyhow, I went this Monday to have this removed. And uh, she, I said, how, how are you going to remove this? She said, we just slice a little bit off at a time. We look at it under a microscope until we don't see no more cancer. I was like, so you just keep peeling it away like an onion? She said, yeah. I said, well, can you start right here and start peeling this away until it starts looking like normal? She's like, no, you better go get your fat ass and liposuction for that. I don't do that in this office. I was like, well, fuck me. Uh, so I got this cut off. They put a big hole in my face and then they slid it to sew it up and all that shit. Put this big bandage on my face. And they put you in this Frankenstein looking laboratory chair and it's so uncomfortable and I've got a bad back to start with. So after I get out of having surgery on my face, I decide I'm gonna go get a massage. And this woman at the massage parlor, she's like, oh honey, honey, what you do your face? I was like, well, I got cancer, and they, they cut it out. She goes, oh, it hurt? I said, yeah, it hurt. She goes, oh, you want happy ending? I was like, no, 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 I don't want no happy ending. I ain't, I'm not paying for the happy ending. She goes, no, no, first one free, make you feel good. So she climbed on me and rode this dick like it was fucking Mount fucking Everest, or Mount Fuji in, in, in Japan. So, and I'm like, okay, this is fucking great. Uh, so it was like I was at a Chinese restaurant. I had I, I ended up with the some dumb chick, <laughs> and you know she got one hung low, and the cream of this some young guy. So <laughs> so anyhow, uh, I decided since you know I got I don't care if it was mercy sex or pity sex, but I'm just gonna invest in a lot of fucking bandages, and whenever I want to get laid, I'm just gonna put a bandage on in different places. <laughs> Uh, so then I'm, I'm deciding, you know, I got cancer, I figured I'd get an emotional support animal. I used to have a cat, but it died about a year ago. So I'm thinking, should I get a dog or a cat for an emotional support animal? So I did a lot of research. Do we have any dog people out there? Anybody likes dogs? One, two, three, three dog people. But cat people, any cat people? Anybody like, one, one guy likes cats. So in my research, I found out that uh, uh, dogs, are stupid. Cats are way smarter than dogs. And in my research, I found out why. Because it don't matter how much peanut butter you put on your junk, your cat will never fucking lick it. But my cat used to love tuna fish, and I miss that furry little fucker. Uh, so, anyhow, um, anybody see that, that new Disney movie that's coming out next month? The, the new animated Disney movie? It's, it's about a big blue uh, transgender whale called Maybe Dick. No, no. All right, let's, let's see if we can get this to work. We, try, we tried it last week and the mic went out, so we're gonna try it this week. When I lived in New Orleans, I put out a comedy album. Uh, it was just a bunch of prank calls. So we're gonna try to prank call somebody if we could get it to work through here. I used to do different voices. So we're gonna, we're gonna see if we could get this shit here to work. See if we can hear it through the mic. Thank you for calling me all card on Richie yeah, Road. Can you hear that? Cars by pickup. Yeah. Check out my link or press three now. For your convenience, place your car site to go or Katie Border on allcard.com or use the all card now. For our standard order, press one. For sitting information, visit the all card app or press two for sitting information. How on the fuck are you talking about another fuck? Press three. Yeah, this is Larry, Larry Von Steuben. How you, how you doing tonight? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, um, last time I was there, I had your, uh, your anal hair pasta. Do y'all do 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 still have the anal hair pasta? Yes. Yeah? What about your chef? Is your, is your chef, uh, did he wipe today? Because last time I was there, I had the anal hair, it, it tastes like shit. Okay. Hello? Did he wipe today? <laughs> did, did your chef wipe? Is, is he nice and clean? Did he have some dude wipes? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to find out if y'all still have the anal hair pasta. I'm sorry, I'm not sure. Can you repeat that? 
Right. Y'all still got the animal hair pasta? Did you hear pasta? Yeah. Yeah, we still have it. Yeah, last time I was there, it tastes like shit. Did you chef wipe? I'm sorry, could you say that one more time? The last time I was there, it tastes like shit. Did you chef wipe? No, we haven't changed anybody. Yeah, because I, li I, I like clean anal hair pasta. I don't like shitty anal hair. Okay, can you? Can not uh, cuss quite so much? I, I mean, what the heck could help you, but... Yeah. Just keep that down. Yeah, okay. Um, tell him to wipe his meatballs, too. Okay, you had an issue with the soup? No, his meatballs. They were kind of salty. They were kind of salty? Yeah, his meatballs were salty. Tell him to wipe real good. I'm sorry? Tell your chef to wipe his, his meatballs. Yeah, all right, well, I'll be there in a little bit, love. I'll see you there. Fuck that dude. So that's what I used to do, and, and I had a record contract, which I turned down because they were gonna fuck us, so we put it out ourselves. That was just a little taste of shit we used to do. Call different businesses and just fuck with them. All right, so let's see what else we can do here real quick. Um, ladies. Ladies, let, let me just tell y'all, y'all just need to quit lying to dudes. I mean, let's face it, y'all lie when y'all walk out the house because not a single woman walks out without makeup. And at the end of the night, y'all take that shit off, y'all look like totally different people. So, uh, quit lying. My ex-wife, she lied to me. She told me she, she was a, a, a 3IC. Do does anybody know what a 3IC is? That's a three input chick. It's a chick that takes it in all three holes. And uh, well, she said, yeah, I'm a three IC, so I thought I hit the fucking jackpot. So after we got married, I blasted her in the ass once. And guys, if you're gonna blast the chick in the ass, you should at least eat the booty. Because I mean, it's common courtesy. If you're gonna blast the ass, eat the ass. Um, so I blasted her in the ass, and she said, well, oh, Damn, no, no more of that. That shit hurts. And I said, well, you told me your, your last boyfriend and you that's all y'all used to do and you liked it. She said, yeah, but he had micro penis. And that's something, if you don't know what micro penis is, I suggest you Google it, but it's when the man's hung like a pinky. <laughs> and sometimes if, if chicks see that, they're like, hey, little boy. And if, if that was me and some chick did that to me, I would just go, Hey, good girl. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there was no ass blasting in that. Anyway, I'm, I, I like to say uh, I enjoy New Orleans seafood and daiquiri. Y'all got some of the best food around here because it's it's made with love and it's made from people who lived in Louisiana in New Orleans. So tonight I tried y'all wings. I was kind of scared to order the wings, but they I, I got the French Quarter flavor. And let's face it. We all know that the French Quarter smells like urine, stale cigarettes, and beer, but the, the, the wings were excellent. I don't care what it might have smelled like, but that shit was good. Anyway, I got one more thing for you guys. I'm gonna leave you with a little uh, advice that my grandpa gave me. He said, son, fat pussy is good pussy, but fat pussy is not as good as red beans. My name's Big Red, that's all the time I got for you guys today. Give it up for your host. Don't forget to tip your bartender because the more you drink, the funny we are. Big Red. Did y'all enjoy Big Red? Yeah. yeah. That was one of your best stuff. Hey, man, I, I've been doing comedy a little minute, man. I ain't never seen nobody do a prank call live on stage. Keep doing that shit. <laughs> that shit gonna catch on. Yeah, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Y'all had a deck room tonight? Yeah. Because I done finished my deck and my equilibrium a little off. <laughs> I cannot walk too fast. I'm going to be on my ass. Fix too much. I like white people though. Y'all are great, man. Y'all talk about so much shit that we would just never say and never talk about. You know what I'm saying? A whole little culture different. You said ain't no hair pasta. Ain't no She's going to put the manager on the phone I use for the switch up. I was like, sir, could you please not curse so much? <laughs> I don't keep this motherfucker be so rolling because we got some, we got a lot of comedians in the house.